Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to PGHY Schwartz. I am Paru, and we're recording Paru's Custom Corner today. Um, haven't done it in a while, but I'm sure that it will have been worth the wait. Um, today we're doing Death Parade. Uh, this was submitted to me by Ro. Thank you, Ro, from the Custom Set Discussion Discord. And uh, joining me today is uh, another user from the Custom Set Discussion Discord, um, Spyro. Uh, hello, everyone. Yes. Uh, I, what's up? I'm just someone from a Discord. I have nothing. I don't have any interesting background to talk about, like all of the other guests. But you talk but about this fine. kind of stuff a lot. So I expect that you'll yeah. have some sort of knowledge to to impart on me you'll probably catch because i've been out of this for so long you're probably going to catch little things that i i'm not noticing so i'm you know i'm appreciative yeah. of that yeah yeah if i'm good at anything it's noticing little things excellent all right so let's just get into it we're gonna look through so this is a okay. 116 card set it's a big one um there is a td uh, yeah. but most it of the TD, yeah yeah no, most of the like... td is going to be vanillas though uh, or like very close to vanillas. The TD does have interesting cards in them, but we don't need to spend yeah, too much time talking about the little stuff. Yeah, from what I look, most of the TD is just very basic profiles, yes. except for I think the event is the only one that might be interesting because because it's over spec we'll as hell. We'll get to it. Well, it's because it's like the gimmick of the set is all about the play a game events, so it's another one of those to potentially consider. But we'll look at them. Yeah. First thing we have here, uh, patient decim. Oh, what is what is death parade about? Uh, yeah, it's really complicated actually. It's it's this weird little twelve episode and it's done anime where basically there are all these people the that heck? are they are called the arbiters uh -huh. uh, and they are. They are in charge of basically the afterlife, but not really. Uh -huh. they, they, they are like in some sort of trans-dimensional hotel where each, each of them has their own room. And basically, when every time two people die at the same time, they come, they are invited in one of, the, of these rooms and the arbiter has them play a game. And depending on what sort of emotions they showcase during the game, the arbiter decides which one gets to be reincarnated and which one gets to just become like nothing. Okay. Uh, and as the anime goes on, they sort of challenge this system and stuff like that. And this, some of them, like, they, they encounter situations where it, the choice is not very easy to make and stuff like that. Uh, but if anything relevant comes up, um, I, I'll explain the flavor and stuff. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> so first card is a uh, Patient Decim. It's uh, Apple Bonds to this um, level one vanilla green card. Okay. Yeah. And then it's, it's Apple Bond. Is it... Yeah. It's just Apple Bond, I guess. I'm not. Guess, I'm not even gonna bother, uh, like rating the vanillas. Vanilla. Like we know, Apple Bonds like kind of phased out in terms of power right now. Okay. Is the, the is the flavor is... here good? Like the, these uh, characters. Yeah, yeah. This is basically uh, this is the the main uh, arbiter we follow basically, and one of the things that's like controversial about him is that he actually gets attached to a lot of the humans he has to judge. Okay. And and this vanilla here, uh, this girl. Is basically he was so attached to her that he didn't even send her anywhere. He just kept her around in his room, and, and they erased her memories. And she, and he told her that she is his assistant and stuff, and she's just hanging around. Okay, sure. So okay. yeah, it makes sense. Like for kind of flavor, I'll give it the the plus. Gotcha. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, no, the flavor is wait. No, the flavor is this one. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds good. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, you can go ahead and read this. Okay. This is stepping in Dekim. He's a uh, assist 500, and 
when you play a climax, you can give one of your game characters a thousand power. So it's kind of like married life. It's married life, so, but this is actually under spec, right? They changed yeah, yeah. married life with Konosuba. I, it should be. I think it's a thousand. It should be a thousand. Yeah, he should be a thousand power. power. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, it's just like another yeah. like average, average guy that's just gonna give seed one of these standard mm -hmm. average cards. All right. Third card. We got total control decim. During your turn, is it decim or decim? I think it's decim. Oh, okay. Well, it's decim during okay. this video. During your turn, if you have two or more yeah. other game characters, he gets fifteen hundred power. Okay. Uh, on play, you may discard a game character to draw one. Isn't that usually effect plus two thousand? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what. I was so, going to say about the balance. Yeah, it should be 2,000 on the first effect. Yeah, so he's actually underpowered. Uh, he should be a 4K. Yeah. A 4K a that card, draws one. I mean, this is like the first if, like card you might play. I don't think it's like super good or anything. Yeah, I guess, I guess like if you don't have... If you really need to filter for standby or something, you might... I think this set does have good, like really good hand filters later on, though. Like definitely better yeah, than this like, one. Yeah, like this is like... like I know, like, I wouldn't consider this if you have, like, the standard double filter that mm. most decks get, but sometimes you don't have that. Like, in Avatar, the last Airbender, I know I considered a similar card. Oh, no. It's a Zuko that just has it <laughs> because they don't have a double filter. Oh, that's rough. All right. Yeah. You get this next one. It doesn't have any flavor either. I think it's just a standard effect. Okay. So, yeah, whatever. It's not anti flavor, though, so I guess we don't. Ending. Okay, this is Flyers Decim. Uh, when the climax plays on your climax area, this gets plus 1500 power until end of turn. And climax combo when this catch ball, one will be reversed. If you have one farewell in your climax area, search your deck for a point. Or up to one game character, it will be your point to the event. So like, okay, so it's just a standard Simakaze. It's on the two solo, though, which is a little weird. So you don't get any power from the climax. Yeah, I think that kind of kills it. Yeah, it doesn't have like a super crazy power condition like a lot of the modern ones usually have either. Yeah, just yeah. because of the climax. Like being a... Because yeah, it's, it's an on reverse on like a non-power climax, That's yeah, right. it's pretty fucking bad. Flavor, is there anything here to this or is it just kind uh, of... I guess like if you really want to stretch... The fact that this activates when you play a climax, uh, this flyers is the name of the opening that goes like really, really hard. So I guess it sounds like we're stretching like a pretty climax, hard. Climax, but, okay. but yeah, it's on the it's like a climax in the sense of it's the opening. Let's jump out. I don't know. It it just that's just like really trying to find flavor. I yeah, mean, sorry. that's fine. TD Anyone's stuff wins. often yeah. gets le left out in the player. Balance, oh, yeah, it's fine, balance but it strike. sucks. Yeah, it's it's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I think this is okay, me. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, we got reminiscing dream, okay. or re sorry, reminiscing decim. Two one. Yeah. When this card attacks, if all your other characters are game, he gets two thousand power until the end of the turn, and then his hand on Car Carmen would stab oh, yes. me if yeah, he knew I read it's... this card. <laughs> Yeah, it's these are terrible. It's yeah, the it's the TD two one, one that's in every set. Uh, and it's also technically under spec. Because, yeah, because the Yonkor is not rated, so he, he should be seven k. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god! Uh, but you're right. you know, it's very easy to fix. You could just make the Yonkor that's a game character, and then he would be correct. But yeah. Damn! Really? But, uh, Shouldn't it also? No, that's right. You're right. Yeah. Damn, that's a terrible card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it's TDs. flavorful. It's flavoring in, in the sense that of a, most of this have one of these. What? Sorry? It, you know, it, it's flavorful because actual TDs have one of these usually. Okay. Sure. Okay. I don't. I... <laughs> You're welcome. I to... know it's it's stupid, but yeah. Oh, this it's... next card is really interesting. Here. Okay, let's see. Carefully watching vacuum. 
Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, look at up to three cards, choose one card from among them, put into your hand. Put the rest in your waiting room. When this card attacks, if you have two or more game characters, this gets plus 1500 power in the end of turn. There's like no way that's balanced yeah. properly, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. The the second effect is like they wouldn't even make an effect like this. Like in in math, this costs like three seventy five or something. Right. It would say two thousand on it instead of. It would 15. say two. No, it would say two thousand, and it would also be ten k base. Right. Then it would be balanced. So he's extra. So he's re He's really he's extra under. That's terrible. Yeah, but, they did not need to do this okay. card that dirty. Yeah, like, uh, from what I saw, like this is probably a much older mm -hmm. set from what I saw. So I think it makes some sense that he's using more older, sure. less correct profiles. But okay, sure. I'll give no. it the deeds just because maybe you need to dig for a climax or something in some deck. But yeah, I assume there are better cards. I hope so. The dig. Is there yeah, anything flavor-wise so, yeah. to this? Mm, not really. I guess. I guess he's. You could say that he's because he's watching. He's like looking into your deck to find cards. But yeah, like that's again, that's more of a trying to find flavor. Yeah. Like like so on on the nose flavor or whatever. All right, let's go on to billiards. Well, billiards. I, that's not spelled right. That isn't that. That's Billy. May, I should say maybe, I don't know. I don't know. English makes no sense sometimes. Hang on. When it comes to spelling. Is this like I've never been spelling this wrong word wrong my whole life? No, it's no. billiards. Okay, so we okay, have well, one or more event cards in memory. This cannot be played from hand. Uh, put this card yeah. uh, on play. So put this card into your memory while it's in. When this no, when card is put into your memory, yeah. Yeah, when this card is put into your memory, you may use the play a game effect. Both players um, mill two. The player that mills the higher total of cards performs the following action. Burn one to your opponent. And then at the beginning of opponent's encore step, play put this card from your memory into your waiting room. Yeah. This is like I looked over the events and a lot of them have the same sort of style so i'm not sure this is definitely reads very bad by itself especially because your point is still but i will mention that one of the sort of main finishers later on he part of his combo is to copy quote unquote one of the play a game effects so maybe you use this to add some extra potential burn to that so i guess i'll give it like Plus, uh, I've so I've read those cards, and I don't think that they make. I don't think any of the play a game cards are actually playable. Yeah, I, I didn't read them. Just basically, I looked over just to see the like which characters were in mm -hmm. its color mostly, and just want to see the events. So and in I a, saw that all of, yeah, in a vacuum, uh, this is like pay two to maybe burn one. This is pay two where maybe you take a damage. You know what? This is worse than an F. This is F minus. Because even if you get to copy yeah. this effect and use it more than once, you're still giving your opponent like chances to burn you, or you're giving your opponent um you're giving your like chances to do nothing to yourself. Like it's probably yeah, like it's cool so from like a flavor perspective, but like this isn't like good. Yeah, that's what I was worried about too. Because I, I there are a lot of effects from what I saw that like literally trigger based on you playing games and if a lot of them are like this where your opponent can benefit a lot from them yeah as for uh, all opponent, of them in all of them your opponent can benefit like in terms of flavor it's it's a, it's very good that it's focused on playing games because that's literally sure. what they do yeah but, but i don't know how well it will work in practice as, as a set you also don't even get memory compression out of it because it dumps itself back out well, of memory. Well, yeah. The the main idea I think here with the memory is just like oh you're you're sort of in the process of playing a game. You can only and play then one game at a time. The game is over. Yeah, you, and then the game is over at the, during your pawn turn, and then you play the other game. Something probably something like that. Uh, yeah, and I guess the bug. 
don't know, event balance is very, very hard to quantify. Yeah. If you're looking, if you see any of the discussions we've had over on the channel. Yeah, but with, with events, we've usually just... We usually just guess. <laughs> yeah, well you, yeah, with events, usually you just uh, accept what's written on them. So, yeah. Um, I guess, it seems so I guess fine. it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then what do we got next? We got a two soul climax. All right, on to the green TD stuff. Go ahead. Okay, gripping at the elevator to Yaki. At the beginning of the climax phase, choose one of your other game characters, and that character gets. Plus 500 power until end of turn. And then she's a, a, she's a draw brainstorm, but it's the old ones, the, the four card ones, which is what I said, that this is probably so, an older set. Sure, so even if this was a four card brainstorm, this is still under spec, right? Uh, this if, it was fi if it was five card, it would be right, right if you remove the game, if it was just on a character in general. As it is, it's super under spec because it's yeah. the, so the, the flip four version. How much is tap four well. or tap one draw brainstorm? Isn't that five hundred power? Uh, no, the flip four one is one thousand, okay. and then the the flip five one that they use now is two thousand. Okay. And then the first effect, if it was any character, it would be five hundred. But because it's game, it's actually no, no. Scratch that I'm stupid. Yeah, the first effect is correct as it is. It's 500. Uh, the first effect would be 500, and then the second part okay, would so be a thousand in this case. So this is balanced uh, as if it was. Um... I was. I see if it was a draw five. Yeah. Okay. A, a, a flip five, for instance. Yeah. Oof. That's Which it rough. probably should be in this day and age. So. Yeah. Sure. And, uh, uh, it should be, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's fine. No, it's I'm fucking dear. Suppose talking. Oops. Yeah. So yeah. Sorry. I'm. I'm very much. I. I struggle a lot at that. Just calling stuff bad. Oh, you're good. Uh, yeah. I'm basically use a food though, but for wessers. How much? Uh, how's I, the the flavor I, here? Uh, it's. I, Cannot yeah. think of anything <laughs> sure. in particular. So it's just. A I card. guess maybe maybe she's thinking in the elevator, so she's brainstorming. Uh, it's greeting in the know. elevator, not thinking in the elevator. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's just leave it at neutral. I like to give the benefit of the doubt that they that they thought of every little detail about the flavor. TD stuff is usually pretty um pretty like flavorless. That's just kind of unless yeah, it's yeah, like hollow yeah. it's, it's fair to make most TV stuff. Yeah, it should be easy basic. enough for like a new player to pick up and yeah. understand. But then no, the billiards event exists. If you can also find a way well. to put, if you can also find a way to put flavor in your TV, I think it's better. But it's definitely not required. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this okay. next card's sick. We got. Uh, is it? It's me. Yeah. No, I think it's you. Yeah. Yeah, we got observant. I think observant is spelled <laughs> wrong. Uh, Chiaki. If you have no other characters in your center stage, this gets a thousand power in one level. Uh, I have no idea if this is correct or not in terms of budget. I've never seen because... no other characters in center stage unless it's yeah, like yeah, super it's usually it's usually all of your characters. Yeah. Yeah, if you have no other characters in center. Uh. uh I guess it's fine because no other characters is like I think it's fifteen hundred in one level, so no other characters it's like slightly stage. less. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but then there's good. there's like the um there's the Sao tenth one that's like if you have one other character you get two thousand power in one level. Yeah, I have to look at one of those. I'm not I'm not sure how much of those are. Um, okay. I've played this as like a plusing zero when I played Puyo Puyo in uh, 2017, and uh, 35 level one sometimes lives. I mean, yeah, the, 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 this, this can definitely live, like especially, I mean, these days you probably want like a 4k because a lot of yeah. the cards hit 35. 
This is like uh, I mean, this would be pretty bombs. unfortunate to have to play as a plus and zero. Yeah, I guess if you also had like in the context of the PvP, you have like frontal assist, you can make this four K. I guess. Sure. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. Yeah, I th I think from what I'm looking here, I think the one other character would be the same. As what he's costed this one to be. Okay. Do you think? So, so it's think correct. One other character. I'm not not sure. Do you think one other character is the same as no characters in center states, as far as a condition, like? Because I don't think there is. I think they're probably they're probably the same. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we can say this is correct. All right. Well, it's correct, but it's it's not good. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I guess if we were in a different like format with more bombs and Maybe. not so many three fives. Yeah. I guess I, I guess like D because it's I guess D in the sense that it's not good right now, but then it's serviceable. Yeah. Sure. What do we think about the flavor uh, here? Is there anything? Okay. Uh, there is. I think there is like good enough stuff here because. I think the scene here, if I remember correctly, is where basically everyone's like talking about like the fact that she's a human because she her memories she doesn't have her memories, she thinks it's just like an assistant for Dekim. And okay. I think everyone's like in a hidden room behind and she's like she's the only one that's actually in the room and I think everyone else is in a hidden room and so she's alone in the scene. The so yeah, she's she's the only one that's front and center. You could okay, say. So sure, I think this is sure. actually pretty decent. I can see everyone else. That. Everyone else is like hidden behind, and they are talking about that. So I think this is actually pretty cool in terms of a flavor effect. Sure. Uh, next one is a vanilla. You don't need okay, to talk about that. The it's the apple target. This one's you. Okay. At the at the bar, it is like. <laughs> All of your other game characters get 1000 power and then has act memory rest this card. If you have a face up event card in your memory, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a game card in your waiting room and put into your stock. Uh, These alpaca effects are really good, but the problem with this one is that. You can only use it during the turn that you've played an event that costs stock. Yeah. So that's there's... definitely the the intention. I, I haven't seen an effect like this before. Is this how these are usually costed? I have no idea. Um. So my only other, the only one, uh, other one of these I know about is sorry, didn't mean to open up Chrome. Um. It's from Kimono Friends. It's a two-one red card. Uh, that one is 1500 power, but it does not require you to have an event in your memory. Yeah, okay. Yeah, memory is another weird one in terms of conditions. This one is an event. Face up event, so you're like stacking yeah. conditions onto it. It's probably fine. Yeah, it's it might be a little less in terms of power, but... Since it's a background and anyway, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is the but... Kimono Friends one. It's uh, it's not global yeah. one thousand. It's just during the turn you play the card, it gains a thousand. So just a thousand. Just a thousand. That's also really weird. I don't know. Okay, I guess yeah, it might be a little lower power, but other than that, this seems fine. And yeah. I know the set. Definitely incentivize you to play a game every turn, so in theory this works. I mean, it, it refunds the cost of your events, but I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I think not. On, most of them, I think, cost two stock. But I, from what I remember, there is one event, a different event that lets you play them for one stock. I think so... you can play them for free also, but you still lose the hand. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't look. Like at the characters at all. I think I it's two cards. It's two cards away. We'll yeah, see it's in. I guess this is fine. Um, so what's she doing? Uh, Hanging out at the bar, supporting people. 
Yeah, I guess, yeah, because before they put, before they start the game, they are at the bar and they usually give them a drink. So you could say that the stock is like the drink they give to the, to oh, the players. Oh, okay. Sure. I can get down with that. Alright, next one's interesting. Is this me? Mm, yeah. All right, we have uh, flyers, Chiaki. So this is the in this is the opening theme, right? The flyers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on play, you may draw one card, and this gets two thousand power until the end of turn. And then when those cards battle opponent becomes reversed, if you have this gold bar or this green stock soul in your climax area, you may send that character to your opponent's clock. It's funny how uh -huh. often this exact combination of effects pops up, and because. I know there's official cards with this, and I know that I have a custom card um, in like one of my old Toho sets that has this exact combination of effects on it. I mean, yeah, it feels right, right? because it, this is a non-play effect that gives power, so yeah. it helps with the reverse. So bar... if you don't want to collab with the card... Cantripping cool. level 3 is that combo on a bar are kind of sad, though. Because like, so... you're already likely to have the climax. Yeah. Usually you want to have, if you have a flavor, very nice, or if it's like a level 2 that you can... It's it's like a combo that you play at level 2, and you can loop it, and it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is not Okay, also, bad. <laughs> one thing I'm confused about, usually the combo is the is the 4 of Climax, but here they cannot be a 4 of, because they are two Climax with the same name. Oh, um, one of these so Climaxes... Um... Well, one of these climaxes is from the booster. Oh. Yeah. The stock soul is okay, the yeah. booster. Oh, okay. I thought this were the, I thought this was like Mob Psycho where they had the two climaxes with the same name in the trial deck. Oh, did so, Mob have that? Yeah, no, they were the two empty ones though. It wasn't oh, like okay. Combo. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's actually pretty interesting because one of them is like they are both called club recruitment, I think, and then one of them is where they are going to recruit him in the telepathy club, and then the other one is the body improvement club, where they are actually okay. recruiting him, so it's this. they make the joke. I think it's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm down with Mob okay. flavor. Mob had all the flavor <laughs> and none of the power. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the, the sad. that's the sad part. I know this yeah, is this balanced because like, this exists a million yeah, times this is, over. This is perfectly balanced. It's a, I guess it's an all right finisher, but not special now. This. Yeah, and then flavor. Uh, uh, I don't think there is much here. Well, sure. So what's the what's the drink? What's the significance of the name of Mental Mari here? Uh, I think that's the name of the drink. Oh okay. sure. Okay. Sure. I don't. So it's just a card. I don't and know the climax like, names or flavor. Also like, also like Memento Mori means memory of death, okay. which is what she doesn't have anymore because they, because he wiped lost her memories. memories. Gotcha. Yes. I don't. It doesn't factor into the card at all, but it's cool. Sure. Uh, next card is a is a is a crazy one because this does we not. Have... Okay, wait. We have we have two events in the the trial. Like has it happened before? Um, has it not that I'm aware of, but I'm probably wrong. Yeah, I don't know of anything. Okay. We have. Is it me now? Yes. I lost track. Okay. Game selector. Look at up the four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one game character or event with play a game from among them. If you choose an event with play a game. If you have no face-up cards in your memory, you may put that card into your memory. Otherwise, put that card into your hand for the rest of the cards of your waiting room. This needs a condition on it. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, definitely needs it. Even if it's something irrelevant, like a character, if you control a character, a game character. If you have a character with Decim in its name, do this. Uh yeah, so something like that. Does it doesn't? A lot of these like powercraft cameras just have a pointless condition yeah they don't really care about it also i did not i i the card i was referring to that let you play the events it's not this one but i think it actually has the same name as this one which is interesting yes there's a, the there's a there's a worse version of an event like this 
pretty much, like, in the booster. That yeah. requires I, I you to pay stock. This exists. This exists. Yeah, this one is just so well, much look, better. It, it's not... It's not... I guess it's... Yeah, it's definitely better in the sense that you get to play it for free, but you are... You have to choose from your top four. It's all... This... So, I, th I don't think the other one can grab your character, right. too. The only... The other one only can Yeah, the other one just events. lets you... The other one just... You can... Basically... Send an event to your memory from deck or waiting room. Yeah, it's gold sarcophagus. But yeah, you get the, you get, yeah, you get, and, but basic, but you get to choose it. That's the, I guess that's the good part. Ah, uh, yeah. Where this one you have to hit the event you want. I think this well, part's yeah, but, better. Well, yeah, definitely helps with the whole event thing. But yeah, it, it really depends on how on how good going for that is. I'm gonna assume. And that the this flavor is, is good. Fun. Yeah. It, it, Basically, they have like a, a a wheel that has all the games, and they the person that the people that come in and have to play the game, they have to press this button, and then they spin the wheel and see what game they get. Okay, sure. So it actually makes more sense that they, you have to choose from the top four compared to the other one. Oh, because it's random. Yeah. Because it's random. Yeah, because it's the wheel. Okay. Yeah. So this is I like better it. Better flavor and better than the other one. I got gotcha. you. Let's just move right on to yellow, since the TD was a, you know, just a few cards, pretty much. Yeah. So. Okay. What's this? Is this character named Quinn? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, this is a big first effect. We got the double R brainstorm in slot one. Uh, it's not even a brainstorm. Oh, it's not a brainstorm. Spoiler it looked like alert. one. Yeah. Okay. This ability activates yeah. up to once per turn. When you play a game, you may rest two of your characters and pull and discard yeah. one. If you do, look it up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one character from among them. Reveal it to your opponent. Put it into your hand. Put the rest of the cards into your waiting room. And um, when your other character is frontal attacked... If you have a face-up event card in your memory, you may pay one, put this in the waiting room. If you do, put that character to hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is really weird. I don't know. Uh, the first effect reminds me of of the kill a kill card they got in the power upset. Kisniver you... also has uh, that exact effect. Um, rest to discard one when you use a bond ability. Oh yeah, that's probably what they based it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the kill a kill one is better because it's pay one, so it's kind of like a replacement for for brainstorm. Yeah. Uh, so this one's a little weird because it's still a card. So and play, yeah, and playing a game is probably harder than. So the Kisniver one, one is really good because all the bonds in that set are pluses, so you can just pl like uh, bond into something oh, and yeah, then immediately yeah, yeah, discard yeah. it for the top four. Yeah, oh. so it basically turns them into pay one, choose. Yeah. yeah. The issue, or an issue here, is that like all of your um, play a game effects, well, most of them only activate like after you've played them already, and they rec well, require you to like pay a bunch of stocks. Like, yeah, yeah, that's that's the problem. And not from I saw that there are definitely. Like, I didn't read everything, but I saw at least a couple of cards that let you play a game outside of the events, but they usually need you to at least have the event in memory and learn already. So, right. Yeah, it's, it's like... It's, something unfortunate. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's really weird. Something unfortunate and here then, is that you can't even, like, um... You can't use the JC effect until you've already played an event, which won't be until level yeah, that's 1. Yeah, also, like... So that really bottom effect is locked honestly. to level 1 and later. And then the yeah, first that's... effect... Like, you want to do that proactively. You can't do it proactively because you have to have the event already. So you can't, like, dig for a character or something that would, like, give you the event. I don't know. It's, like, cool, but I don't think it works, like, when you actually try to play with this. Yeah, it definitely feels like a card that makes sense as, like, a doppler in a gimmick-focused set. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure if the gimmick can support it. I think this it might... It's fine, balance. -wise. It might be under spec, I'm not sure, because the second effect should only be at 500 instead of 1000 because of the extra memory condition. Oh, you're right. Hang on. And Where's then, the kids I thing? don't I don't know how much the the when you play a game do stuff would be costed. 
Um, I don't know. Is is that fifteen hundred? Do you think that's fifteen hundred? Uh, so the Kisniver one is so. Oh, so the Kisniver one also pumps power after you check for add one. Yeah, I'm not. He's yeah, also I'm not. a thousand. He's also a thousand power. His second effect oh. is to um sack one of your characters to pump another character twenty five hundred. Yeah, that's also a weird second effect. So I'm not. Sure. It might be fifteen hundred then actually. I know for yeah, I know for a fact that second one on this card is worth five hundred. Yeah, I guess I guess it makes sense then. Though the fact that he removed the extra power is weird because I'd say that play a game would even Yeah give it the That's even harder than playing you... a Bond character, dude. Yeah, yeah. So I would say that he would should be able to give it even more power, yeah. not to remove the power. Yeah, this but... is under spec. Yeah, it's probably a little under spec. I'm not sure how much, but yeah. Yeah, just make it like pump power after you check for. Yeah, that would that Or change line, the but... second effect to just not care if there's an event in your memory and instead just target yeah, game yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah, that's also really necessary. I don't know why. Yeah, just let yeah, it target game characters. Um, strength. Oops. Strength. Strength, um, I don't. No, I don't think it's good because it, it doesn't it, do anything. It doesn't to read one. very well. It doesn't read very well, but no. maybe it, it, the packets comes together. Maybe it's fine when you actually play it. For the time it, being, but... I'll give it to mine. I don't like level zeros that are literally worthless. That level zero. Yeah, that's really weird. Nice. Um, nice. Balance wise. Yeah, the what's this character doing? Is whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, flavor wise, I mean. I'm sorry. not sure. Okay. Like, okay, this says. Okay, she's like a weird one. She's she's supposed to be like she's the old, because there are the arbiters that, uh, like that judge the the humans that haven't played games, and then there are the other ones that have retired, uh -huh. and they do other stuff. She's basically, she's retired, and when she was still working, she was the one that had the same room that Dekim has now. That's kind of a deal, and I think if I remember correctly, it just gives some advice here and there. It doesn't do much. Okay. There might see. have there might have been a flashback or something where she, they saw her doing the standard game stuff mm -hmm. because this is final judgment queen. So I assume this is a scene where she does the standard judging playing game stuff, uh -huh. which is probably what this is referencing. So I'll say that this gets the plus pro, but I just don't remember well enough sure. to point you exactly what scene this is based on but it should make sense like as the general flavor that when you play a game you get to do stuff sure all right you get to read a good card now oh uh, this one yeah this this one looked pretty pretty strong yeah arbiter of queen queen Dekim. Dekim. uh when this card is placed on the stains from your hand, you can pay one, put the top card of your deck to your clock. If you do choose a phone level one or lower character in your waiting room, it can be your hand. And when this card is put into your waiting room from the states, you can ditch one to search your deck for up to one game selector and put it into your hand. Yeah, this is just like... It's a little weird that it's salvage Ricky. I don't think that was necessary but the fact that you can also search the potentially only reason the game thing works mm -hmm. is definitely very powerful yeah um and you can you can also just grab like a junk card and then immediately ditch it for the event yeah yeah so it's, it can be like a lock sort of search it's kind of like a clock thing, search you know? for the event yeah or just a clock salvage for a character i think this card's good yeah, it's good. It also I guess I valid. wish it wasn't a salvage tricky. Yeah, definitely. search tricky is just better. Uh, I guess it's yeah, it's cool. Depending, I give it the plus because the game selectors might be insanely important depending on how the rest of the set turns out. Sure. Yeah, the flavor is pretty good. Gets she things. pulls out the button. She pulls out the button and gives it to the people. The balance is correct, yeah. Good. Good card. All right. Um, 
Level 3, we got Taking Control, Decim. When uh, this card is placed on stage from hand, you may look at up to three cards on the top of your deck, choose one card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest into waiting room. If you have an event card in your memory, this card gets 1500 power and the continuous effect that it cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. Um, when this card attacks, you may pay one, discard one. If you have this choice climax in play, you may pay cost. Uh, if you do, if you have an event card with play a game in your memory, you may choose one of those events and then use the play a game effect on it. Then deal one damage to your opponent. So I think the, the yeah. idea here is that you want that billiards event in your memory. And Probably, then you're trying yeah. to trigger I don't know. it. I haven't read the other events. None but... of the other ones are like finisher effects. They're like uh, okay, salvage yeah, so you or probably want the billiards then. Yeah. But even that one's a little weird like, because it might hurt you. That card might just As... kill you. Yeah. Assuming it hits, it's probably a, it's a pretty decent. It's like pay one, ditch one, double burn one. Yeah. If it, if it hits, it's good. Yeah, if it doesn't hit, it's if it doesn't yeah, hit, it's worse just... than garbage. Yeah. I just also realized that even if you hit, you're also potential. Your opponent mills the top two, so you're potentially getting them closer to canceling. Which is. Yeah. Sure, but you could also just mill two climaxes yeah. off the top. Yeah, of you the could deck. also mill two climaxes. You could also be. It's like, like a 50 the, the god of RNZ. You could be a god gamer. It's true. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, is it better than the clock kick that we saw? Potentially. Is this know. the best finisher so far? I mean, so far, I guess, yeah, you can make an argument that this is a better finisher, assuming everything okay. works. I'll give this the C plus then. It is nice, yeah, it's choice, it's, and it and he digs it for his the, Yeah, I can give it the C for now. Just, uh, I don't know, maybe there's some weird things maybe you can stack your deck or something i hope i forgot that there's like a broken play a game event later yeah that would change things uh in flavor. terms of flavor he's playing a game right that's see, his thing see okay yeah i mean yeah play a game is the the typical flavor of about something that's like a personal gripe uh -huh. this particular scene it's basically it has this cool power where if if one of the players steps out of line he can just summon a bunch of strings and tie them up which you can see in the climax oh, okay i really hoped that that scene he would use like he would have like an anti-runner of some sorts or like one of those choose a character and they cannot move okay until end of turn so uh, like the flavor in terms of just the general flavor of the set makes sense with playing uh. the game but i wish this particular moment was just like a, a level zero one okay. anti runner or something so you're saying they could have gone further with the flavor. yeah they could have gone further for this particular scene sure uh, that, that's what i'm saying but yeah it generally makes sense okay and you can say that the fact that it's untargetable it's it's yes yeah, so like they're trying to throw him over they're like oh, i'm not gonna play the game i'm gonna attack you it's like no so maybe you can say that that's what the hex proof is for okay so yeah do you think fine. this is balanced it probably is right yeah uh the one i'm not sure i think the the second effect might not be the exact math that you get from this condition but i don't know what the, the market even is in that condition so i'm just going to assume that it's correct it's probably right. 11k level 3, yeah, that I mean, seems Even normal. if it isn't, like, the, the fix would probably be something really easy, like, if you have another character to, or something. Yeah. I Actually, I guarantee you the fix for that is either giving the power gain, either plus or minus 500 power. Yeah, so, something like that. Yeah, it's not a huge issue, and I'm not even sure if it's wrong, but it's just, like, uh... It's just weird, because it doesn't exist. Are, are not very easy to evaluate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, let's next card. Uh joining the game Vekim. At the beginning of the climax phase, choose one of your other game characters and that character gets five hundred power until end of turn. And 
resonate. Pay one, rest this card, reveal one, professional life skater, see Yaki in your hand. At the beginning of your main phase, you may pay the cost that you do. Choose one, toss one or lower game card in your waiting room and put it into your hand. There is no way that that second effect uh, is worth like 2,000 power. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, this yeah, he's super underpowered. Yeah, it might even be like just five hundred or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think so. I'm dude. not sure exactly because usually these are like acts. This one's at the beginning of the main phase. It's a little weird. Yeah, I mean it's fine. It just means you can't search out the um the card during. The... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. Usually, just the act version. It's I think it's even that is like just. It might be like a thousand or something. Yeah, no. Remember. And this stacks so this, conditions, like for what you're so allowed to this, grab. I think this should definitely be like 500. Yeah, so he should be like, what, 2k base? Yeah, it should be 2k. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as In terms of being a card, it's like fine. You can just salvage your level yeah, 1 combo every fine. time. Yeah, as long as you have that level 3. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we'll have a death bond or something. That level 3 is level um, very strong, as if I can remember correctly. It and has a really stupid a early play. Card, that's definitely, if it's a good card, it's definitely better. You There's a... It, like, a minus because it's a little awkward being sure. at the beginning of the main phase. But I, it's definitely, if, especially if this is a good level 3, like, worth, like, building around and mm -hmm. stuff. It's the... I think this should be a pretty good card to play. Yeah. Well, the level 3 is good because it has a really dumb early play condition. Oh, I guess we'll see it later. Like, it has a free early okay, play we'll condition. See. Flavor? We'll see. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, I think it's just the general flavor that Dekim has really likes, like this. Really likes Chiyaki. Okay. So, because he, he literally kept her on. So it makes sense that they would have cards that interact with each other. Okay. I think, okay, uh, since this is, I think this might even be the scene where they're talking about her past, where they revealed her past to her, because the 3 2 is basically, she's an, part of her past is that she's an ice skater. She used to be an ice skater, so that might be it. I think, yeah, I think it's fine. It's, it's flavor. It doesn't pop out as super awesome flavor, but it's still flavorful. Or... Okay. Yeah. Next guy, we got making a call. That's some... when he's placed on stage. Choose one of your opponent's characters. That character cannot move until the end of um, your turn. And then when you play an event card, or when your opponent plays a climax, you may put this card into your stock. That's cool. Um... Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. It's pretty. At least they put the cannot move effect somewhere I, I would be very disappointed if it wasn't somewhere in a decking card uh it's it's only for your turn which is a little sad because i find it very funny when they cannot move which is on their turn yeah yeah it's but, definitely all better when it's cross turn yeah okay and uh also this makes it weird because of the budget the cross turn one costs 1000, so I assume this one would be only 500. Yeah. And then the second effect, I think, is like a thousand because the individual effects of playing an event, put the stock, and your opponent plays a climax, put the stock, these are both 500 power. Okay. So I assume the combined one would be a thousand. So this oh, is so probably it should be 15. 15, yeah. It yeah. should be 15. It's a little too small. Uh, in terms of flavor, I like it just yeah, because it's stopping the guys you from cannot moving. move thing. Uh, as a card, and it's fine. I guess, yeah, you could probably throw this in depending on maybe you need the cannot move for something or and the fact it turns into stock is also to be cool. It's like a nice tech card. See, this is how you make like an effect. Like the other card, like didn't work until you hit level one and could start playing events. This one works at level zero. Because there's a chance that your opponent hits level one first and plays a climax. Also, I really like the when your opponent plays a climax, put this to stock. It's not very relevant anymore, but back in the day, uh, I that 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 effect was very funny to to like to throw any on reverse combos and stuff. 
Yeah, you, it was really funny versus AOT. Front row. Yeah. Yeah, you put this in the front row, that they play a climax, you get a stock, they don't get to do their combo at all. Okay, okay next card. Full of emotion, deck him. During your turn, this card gets plus 2,000 power. When this card's one point goes first, children of your other game characters rest it and move it to an open position of your backstage. It's clean cut. Uh, yeah, it's a clean cut. The powers are correct this time. Yay! What is... Yay. Uh, yeah, it's 35 clean cut. That's definitely... It's your average clean cut. Yes. Yeah. Clean cuts. Is it flavor yeah. because he's putting the girl good. in the back room? Uh, yeah, this is in this scene. I think he's literally like carrying the other girl in his arms. So okay. that's like the most literal representation of a clean cat. That sure. I can think of. All right, so, I like that. A strength, yeah. I mean, we already saw there's like a good back row to pair this with, like the thing that just salvages a character every turn. Yeah, yeah, that definitely works. I think that one pumped power, right? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that gives you power, so you can. Four K clean cut. You can, yeah, you can hit over those three, five utility so, cards. Okay, yeah, you can hit over your opponent's thirty-five hundred Chiaki. Yeah. Yeah, this is like pretty good. It's a standard link at the moment. All right, this is a this is a weird one. We got tending the bar decim. During your turn, if there's an event in memory, this card gets twenty-five hundred power. So he's seven K odd turd. But you have to have one of those events in memory. Um when he attacks, if they shall be judged is in your climax area, you may pay the cost. So they shall be judged is a stock is a yellow stock soul or a standby. Well, um, he has a lot of overlapping climaxes. Yeah, that's... yeah, that was weird while I was making this presentation. <laughs> I kept finding yeah. cards that had the same name as other cards, and I had to go back and change a bunch of stuff. I like to do that too, but usually it's not this much, but okay. Uh, yeah, so if you have an event okay. with it's, uh, it's play cool. a game in memory, choose one of those events, use the play a game effect. Well, okay, so it's just like, I guess this is meant to be used with, I assume there are some, some resource generating There are resource ones, ones yeah. Yeah. But the problem is that if you whiff them, your opponent gets the resources. Yeah, yeah it's like that. In Kondosuba, there was like a race combo. Yeah, that, yeah, they'll I set think one you, get, you either get two stock or you, or you lose a stock. Or yeah. your opponent gets two stock. Yeah, that's on yeah. this thing. Uh, there's like weird shit going on here too with the power. Like st in, in standard, this sure, would not fly. Yeah, I have I have no idea, like, I'm not sure how much having an event in your memory is worth, like, your memory is already weird enough. Okay, so I know, I know having a card in your memory is worth, um, okay, no, sorry. Having an event, having a card in memory to gain 3,000 is worth 2,000, I think. Wait, how big is, yeah, the, how big is Hambo uh, from, maybe. um, Adventure Time? That's how we figure this out. Uh, yeah, okay, let's... I think Hambo's... Isn't that like the power thing is experience, I think? No, Hambo no. is if you have a, 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 any card in memory. Oh, oh, no, 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 yeah, I was thinking of the... of the Prince Hobbot, whatever his name is. Let me see, where is this card at? Okay, uh... Yeah, there we go, um, Hambo is... Hambo. Uh, yeah, so you lose... 2,000 to gain 3,000 with any card in memory. Okay, this is so gain, uh, losing 1. 5. 5. Yeah, okay. so this is losing 500 to gain 2,500 with a specific type of card in memory. Okay, so if it was just any card, he would get 1,500 because it's doing right. it there and would make, it would be at two times, uh -huh. which would be 1,000 then. And then 1. 1.5 with the memory would be 1500. I'm not sure how much the event distinction adds to that. But I'm not sure if it treats I think this five. card is <laughs> over spec by 500. And I don't have anything to prove that other than my own feelings. Yeah, yeah, but it definitely feels like it should have a little more 
I feel like I think it's honestly just like during your turn if you have another game card, I think then it would be correct. I, that's just my feeling, though. Yeah, as you said. Well, if it was uh, during your turn, if you have another game character, it would gain three thousand, and same. it would be four thousand, right? Uh, during your turn, if you have another game character, that's also one point five, I think. So it might. I know it depends on how much the event thing adds to it, <laughs> and I'm not sure. So it's impossible. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Think, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> yeah, it it feels slightly below what it should be, but I'm not sure by how much. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. And then strength wise, I don't think it's good. Man, we yes, wasted all that um, time. Yeah, I get. Yeah, no, it's probably not good. Just play it like there's like regular level one. Assuming all of the Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like this would normally be like the common meme combo, but it's a rare for some reason. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, rarity because, doesn't yeah. have to matter. Commons are broken sometimes. Yeah, no, but like yeah, these weird combos that make that. Potentially hurt your opponent and to be commas, whatever. Wild yeah, the flavor is on just a the, it's just the usual flavor. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I guess awesome. with the standby, maybe it's something random. Like, there are four, there are uh, two different standbys in the set. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe if this other standby doesn't have another combo. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not attack. Thing. Damn, if only this thing activated, um, if only he could activate in back row. Then you could like you could use him as a finisher. Yeah, that's what the other thing was saying. I was thinking maybe like if you don't have the resources or something, you can just play this as like your third <sighs> lane or something, and then you can potentially burn some extra with yeah. the with the billiards. I don't know. I guess I have to really see all of the other games. Maybe there is one that's more easy to manage, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, move on but to yeah, the next one here. Okay, having a drink, deck him. All of your characters get this card cannot side attack. During your turn, you, if all of your characters are gained, this gets 2,000 power. It's just a sure. big boy. It's yeah. not even that big anymore, but yeah, it's, it's trying. He's trying his best, and his yeah. best is not very good. Yeah, the balance is correct. I'm Shouldn't this card not be able to side attack if he's having, if he's like, you know, liquoring up? He should be punching. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's like, maybe he's drunk and he's doing that, those drunk evasive moves. And okay, I don't know. He's about stumbling that. upon other people. <laughs> I don't know about that. And they cannot side attack. <laughs> I don't know. We're moving on to Quinn. Judgment past Quinn. To be specific. Oh, this is one of the good cards. Uh, all of your characters in front of this get uh, X power. X is equal to that character's level times 500. Uh, rest this and one other character. If you have an event card in memory, you may pay cost. If you do, choose one of your other characters. And until the end of the turn, that character gets plus 500. And during this card's battle, your opponent cannot use backups or events. Uh, so, okay, this seems pretty good. Yeah. Two individually okay. good effects, with the problem being that none of the events in memory are very good. Yeah, that's basically what we've come to expect so far. Yeah. Um, yeah, if... but I guess I guess this is cool. You can make your finisher impossible to stop by anything. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the that's the least you can do since it can potentially screw you over. Yeah. At least your yeah, opponent can interact with you making I mean, yourself lose. I think honestly, in a set without such a bold gimmick, this is actually really strong, so I'm gonna give it individually and don't give it the triple S. Sure. That's know. fine. Uh flavor is good. Uh it's yeah. Like the old I, game yeah, it's just the uh, yeah yeah. Most of the flavors are just the playing it to the gimmick mostly. It doesn't do anything too crazy. I guess, yeah, because she has already passed the judgment after they make their final decision, you cannot like change the mind or anything. So I guess that's kind of like the anti backup event. You cannot stop them. How big was the Bangry version of this card? 
Wow, this is 2,000 power smaller than the Bang Dream one of the exact same card. That's also Event in Memory. Uh, the other one's Event in Waiting Room. It's like the same... I feel like it's all. I think I, th I think Event in Memory... If anything, this one should be... I'm even... not sure. This one should either I'm give sure. more power or it should cost less. Yeah, I'm not sure because... Waiting room based effects are also already like they don't give you that much in terms of budget returns. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not sure how much more the memory would if it if it even gives you more or less. Right. Yeah, but probably should be a little more if the waiting room is two thousand. Yeah. Higher. All right. Otherwise, it's pretty good still. Yeah. Like individually, this is a really good card. As I think, it's like in the context of the set, it's a little awkward because mm -hmm. of what the events do. Oh, excuse me. All right, what's this guy do? Okay, out of there with emotions, deck him. Put one card from hand to your waiting room. When the special place on the stage on your hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, put the top card of your clock into your stock. Yeah, okay. Uh, at the beginning of your attack phase, if you have no event cards in your memory, you can pay two. If you do choose an event with play a game and put it into your memory. Uh, importantly, the events trigger when they are put into your memory in mm -hmm. any way. So it activates. Yeah, so it does trigger your events. Uh, yeah, but the fight is you're not getting any refunds. It's you still have to pay the two stock. So it's it's no different than just playing than the event. Just, yeah, than just playing the event. This might as well have just salvaged the event and play or something. Yeah. I'm not I mean, bad. yeah, maybe it has some applications. I, I don't know. It's it, these are all very weird because of just what the, the play game effects do or at least what I've been told they do so far based on the first one. Uh, the balance is probably correct. These weird, unique level three effects Actually, are maybe hard to, to evaluate. Um, but... Heal to stock is what, 500 power? No, it's a thousand. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like these completely unique level three effects wildly vary, but yeah. usually they are 500 no matter what, from what I've been. Yeah, so, so it's probably fine. Uh, yeah, the flavor is just a typical flavor. I wish there was a little more here because it's an important plot point that he has emotions, more emotion compared to the other characters. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe he has like a thing where he can spare. Maybe he should have been able to stack. I don't know, because he oh, can yeah. spare someone that he, when he dips. Yeah, so basically, if he can has the emotions, he doesn't just judge without thinking. So maybe he should be able to like, uh, I will stack this guy to win because I can see with my more emotional side that that he deserves it or something. Yeah, this could have, like, instead of, like, just playing the event for you, it could have done something to, like, manipulate the event in your favor. That would have been yeah. a lot cooler. I still hope they have thought of that and have something to help you do that. I don't know. I don't think so. Look at the next guy. Uh, we got okay. Confirming the result does some... On a oh, it's a vanilla. It's just Shimakai. I'm not level zero Simakai. Yeah, they're yeah. fine. Uh, you don't play okay. them because they're not worth it. Uh... I mean, yeah, I know what <laughs> time where they were very much worth it, but that time is we're we're past uh, that point. Uh, yeah. This is also pretty much a vanilla. Oh no, it's not. This is different actually. When Wait, this card becomes yeah, reversed, if this card's battle opponent is level one or lower, you may put that card into oh. your opponent's stock. If you do, your opponent puts the bottom card of their stock into their waiting room. So it's not a cost bomb, it is a level 1 stock bomb. Which means you can bomb, you know, standby uh, targets with this. Has that existed as a... I don't think so. No, no. Actually, to be fair, 
they've made like off color bombs. And so in theory, you could have like a level one of low reversal and also give it on reverse stock, you know, this oh, on yeah. reverse mm -hmm. stock rule. So yeah, if we go by that logic, this I think this would be three thousand instead of twenty five, but it comes it's it's in its own favor in this case because it's a bomb. Sure. So this uh so the difference between that this thing dodges the effects like the uh this card cannot become yeah, reversed. On reverse boost. Yeah, I guess maybe you can argue that. So I, I, French cases make yeah. it cost a little more. Sure. Um yeah, I guess that's about it. I don't know that I'd play it, but I do think it's good. Like it it's really yeah, good yeah, it's for standby. It definitely helps because people already play like there is a reason like the red reverses are, are already the level one ones anyway are mm -hmm. usually considered better than the other colors that are just cost zero yeah but because those ones can you actually also ones. have also have the card removal on top that's definitely really good yeah uh, i don't think there is any flavor he's disgusted what? he's disgusted with standby players <laughs> May, yes, I don't know. He's so full of emotions that he sends them to stock. Look at that face. He's like, please, you've been playing Nino Waifu for two years. Just stop. Just stop. Yeah, they spin the wheel and they get Wysors, and the one that plays Nino uh, is the one that gets destroyed, and the, one that, and the other one is reincarnated. Oh my god. This next card is giving me agita. What does New Day Quinn do? Oh, wait. This ability activates up to one time per turn. When you play a game, this card gets 2,000 power. <laughs> why is it... It's why so bad! It's so turn? small! Uh, also, the same like conditions, but for using an act, give you... Like and and f only for five hundred power give you two thousand. This one is a thousand for a much worse condition. <laughs> yeah. Like this is yeah F. Double this can nine, also so like this can like never activate during your opponent's turn because I don't think there's a way to play the events during your opponent's turn. Maybe. So you can't even yeah, like so anything. Maybe you can't even like it, block no, no. things. It's wor This is like worse than a vanilla. Yeah, pretty much. Like, oh, at the very least, it should be five thousand because, like, oh, the yeah. act ones are five thousand and and get two k. I don't know why this is forty five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flavor. I, mean, I I guess yeah, the same. <laughs> the bare minimum. The same flavor. The, yeah, the expected. The flavor, flavor this whole set has pretty much. Oh, for the most part. We got a weird one okay, coming up. We got quietly uh, observing. Quietly... Okay, oh. yeah. Right. It's Sorry. Yeah, I, yeah. I forgot that because the other one was so quick. Well, it was weird. <laughs> so I let yeah. you read it. When this card becomes reversed, um, he has a stock bomb. He has an anti chain stock bomb at level two. He also has hand encore, which I think needs uh, to be traded yeah, for this to be. I, I keep forgetting how much. Uh... The anti change bombs cost. No, I actually think this is this might be correct. Actually, I think they. Oh, they're fifteen. Oh yeah. I think it's fifteen. Yeah. So this, yeah, and then because it's straightless, it's a thousand. So okay. that's I think this is correct. Um, unfortunately, like the effects don't really work together. Yeah, it's not like the the level three killers that kill and then they can you can anchor them and then kill again this one you have to anchor them twice to yeah you'd have to anchor it on your turn them. Yeah. and then in your that's the problem turn. so i think there's like a i think there's a better like a dachi later in the set you would just play yeah instead. yeah this is yeah if there is like a level one that would be nice yep uh, flavor. I mean, is there anything? Yeah, I guess this is fine. Uh, I guess you could say that he's observing. 
Like, so since he's like he's <laughs> observing to make the call for which one to send where, I guess he's like, okay, I have decided that this one has to be destroyed. So he anti-changes them. And then I guess he returns back. So he stands himself, he turns back to observing. All know, right. Something like no sale. May maybe. You were not able to yeah, but... on it. Let's go. You get this guy. Realization of the inevitable vacuum. Uh, he's a 500 bundle assist and when this is placed on the station can. Look at the top card of your deck, put it on the top or into your weather room. You can maybe set up the events with this. Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Only I... one of the two points, yeah. I don't think this is good. It's just like uh, too little. It just doesn't like do enough. Yeah, it's just one top sick and a very small power boost. Yeah, I think there's and, one later on that lets you look at the top two cards of your deck. So yeah, I mean it's pretty. These are pretty typical effects. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean it's also like sure. common. I guess this is something you expect. We'll say flavor. Uh, I'm not sure. Like this one, I'm not sure if there is any particular flavor here apart from. He's helping the events, but that's more of a side effect of what the events do. Sure. I'm just gonna give it the neutral. Got it. I guess this is like, fuck. I mean, it's it's like a decent amount of utility, but this would usually be like the second extra bonus effect to a main effect you really care about. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Information Bureau Quinn. Oh, look at the on play. Look at the top two cards of your oh opponent's deck. Put them back in any order. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's already like I think when you have to actually rearrange them, that should be more expensive. I think. I oh, you might be right it, about that. Yeah. Yeah, because usually these are just you put them back in the original order, the ones that are very cheap, and they put them on anything. Okay, uh, continue reading the card. And then uh, return to your hand when you play Climax, uh, give someone a thousand power. Uh, yeah, that one. I think that should be 2,000, so that's also underpowered there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's not trade. Oh, uh, like, doesn't it need to be what, traded what? to give 2,000? I, I, don't rem I don't remember. What set has one of these? Um, Slime. Wait, uh, sl slime two. Slime two. It's a red Rimuru double R. No, it's not. It it's um, or? it's a rare. Uh, oh, it gives traitless two thousand. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's what I thought. So this is underpowered. The second effect it's a gift two thousand. Yeah. Uh, and then the first. Though to be fair, I guess that's means more of this power pool was invested into the first effect, but okay, so uh, messing with your opponent's deck, I think, especially like in Boosie math, it would probably be really expensive. I'm not sure how expensive exactly. Uh, yeah, so the Rimuru yeah. is 500 power to give 2,000. You can't really like go under that. You can't like, yeah, you know... no, you look okay, you cannot do that and live on that. I, you, but there are some cards that. Where you they have like effects that are both fractions, but they add up to a to oh. an even five hundred. So you could argue that uh oh, the, the second one is a two fifty effect and the first one is a one thousand two fifty effect. Okay, I'm not doing I'm not here to do fractions. Yeah, I know. This is like a it might be balanced. It probably I, isn't. My, <laughs> might I'm not sure the first, usually like when you're messing with your opponent it's it's usually more expensive that than the the equivalent for you. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm going to say that maybe it's correct. It definitely helps the things that this deck tries to do. Unfortunate that it only gives a thousand power though cuz there is like a standby deck. Yeah, so, like the, the second effect normally would be two thousand. So it would have like been cool the... to be, have the opportunity to like stack your opponent's deck every turn, bouncing to get. I mean, power. Yeah, that's probably what it's intended for. Okay. Just, I mean, it's definitely intended to also help you with standby, I assume. 
It's and fine. yeah, it's definitely good. It's definitely good that first pack. I think it's would be usually very expensive, but we'll just let it be. Yeah. The flavor is good because it's in the information barrel. It's like if you're not judging people, this is basically where you go to retire. You mm-hmm. go to the information sort of area. Okay. You just you just feed the other ones info about the people that are coming in. So the fact that you are looking at at cards that are usually not known, that makes sense. Sick. Let's move on to the next guy. Oh, this is not even worth talking about. Uh, it's... <laughs> during yeah, your turn... During your turn? Yeah, oh, during your why? turn, if all your characters are game, he gets 15 on a level. It's bad. Yeah, it's correct, but wh- why? Why during yeah. your turn? You want this kind of thing during your opponent's turn, so that he could potentially like yeah. live and attack again. During your turn, it just doesn't like... do anything. Yeah, like... I don't know. Yeah, let's, this is not let's just move on worse. to the next card. I think this one is interesting. Oh, uh, you can go ahead and okay, this, this one. That's yeah. Uh, reminiscing Queen. During your turn, all of your other game cards just get thousand power. Uh, it has an act before the auto. That's. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, act rest this card in one of your other characters. Choose an event card in your memory and put it into your stock. Okay. Oh, there's like some infinite uh, loop potential, I feel like. Maybe somewhere, I don't know. Uh, climate Storm will pay one, rest this card. When a job well done, it's plus one climb area. If you have no events in your memory, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck or an event with play a game and put it into your memory. Can't use both effects in one turn. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a bummer because. The first thing I thought was like, okay, you can play an event, do the play a game, then you remove that event, you put into your stock, so then you can play another game. But this rests, rests itself with both. Yeah, effects. rest two is pretty rough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the other events do. If there is one that lets you summon characters, what you could do is have two of these. One of them rest with this card, and the bounce back will look better earlier. And then on climax play, you can bounce the rested bounce back, and then use a play a game event with the other one one that potentially summons a character in that slot. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. That's just weird shenanigans. If I were to ever play this card, I think I would just not play the climax combo. I would just play. Yeah, honestly, the... yeah. This launch just looks better as just a way to cycle out and. Even... One event and play a different one. Yeah. While getting stuck. Yep. I mean, yeah, I guess if you don't need a combo or something, you have another way of flashing that this is potentially useful. I think there's just a straight up, like, check for add one in blue. Like, just like I mean, yeah, that is probably. I would hope there are, like, some typical level one combos you can look Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe if there is a potential build that doesn't need. An advantage, a normal advantage combo. This is not the worst thing to play as like a one or two of maybe a climax to selectively get an event you need. But you know, that's like it's just potentially and yeah, weird builds, weird ideas. I don't know. I have no idea what the balance is on this one. Just gonna uh, during your turn, everyone gets a thousand. That's what a thousand? Uh, that's that's what, yeah, that's a thousand. Okay. And so uh, you you could say that I'm this weird event it. memory thing is expensive because probably it is. It's what six k with the soul trigger, five k with yeah. the um first effect. I uh, will say the second one is five hundred. Uh, uh, the third the combo one is probably. No, yeah. the, the combo is probably 500, and yeah. I think there is a good case to be made that the stock is Stock's expensive 2,000, because... as, as it's Yeah, I, th- I, think, I think that makes sense. Because... Yeah, that sounds fine. Because I think that's how much the potion maker is, too. Okay. If I remember correctly, so it makes sense. Sure, I can get down with that. Flavor? Then, Anything? Flavor seems... Yeah, it's just a typical flavor. Sure. 
you know, at least it's like cool variations. Yeah. Of the playing game stuff. Oh, this card is really bad. Whose is this? Is uh, this me? I think it's yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got Exquisite Taste Quinn. If there's an event in your memory, this card gets plus 2500 power. So it's a 9k. It's a nine. It's worse than the trial deck. It's worse than the trial uh, deck. Do one. It has Encore, put a character from hand to clock. So it is, it is, is the worst part of hand and clock Encore at the same time. What? This, How did this came to be? I this is know. unplayable! <laughs> oh yeah, this is like... This is I like not a... one. I like, as I said, I'm the Yusei Fudo of Y Source. I want to see the value in every card, but I cannot defend this in any... In <laughs> There's any no value! <laughs> there is no value. That first effect is so bad, because you have to play an event every turn to keep this yeah. thing at, like, base power. At 9k. <laughs> Balance? No way. Wait, uh, maybe. Yeah, it might be like... fine, actually. So the second effect no, is definitely know. 500, right? I don't right? think so. Like, okay, let's say the Encore is 500. Yeah. Like, what? You have to give up a 15 to get 25. Oh, yeah, okay. I sure. Don't... Yeah, I don't believe um, that. I, I don't think it's based on, like, in the, in the double rare combo, yeah. The same condition is used as a four times multiplier. So, if we go by the logic of the of that card, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, this is not. This doesn't work. And then, okay, just rewrite it's, the whole uh, card. Yeah, I don't. Know, but I don't. Uh, know. There isn't anything like new in terms of flavor, so it's gonna leave it. Yeah, I mean if. We gave plus to a bunch of other stuff that was just if you have an event in your memory or when you play a game. So I guess this deserves a plus by sure. this logic. Alright, yeah. another level Whatever. 2 for you here. Okay, this is a 2-2. Two -two. It might be a standby target, I don't know. Okay, new day, deck him. This card gets a thousand power for each of your other game characters. Hey, it's 10-5. It's slightly more than the trial deck 2 one. Uh, Memory, if you have an event card in your memory, this card gets Encore. Yeah, again, we have... Okay, and it's also traded Encore, so that's wrong. Definitely wrong. Yeah. Uh, that effect yeah, would be worth less. Yeah, that, that, that effect would just... You could just have that effect there without the condition, and then this would be correct. Yeah, this, just give them yeah. regular character hand... Like, game character hand Encore. Yeah, but there is no reason to restrict this any further. Like, I guess if there is no better option, I guess this could be your standby target. But yeah, that's rough. Is a standby correct. target that does not have encore. That loses spend. your yeah. That you have to pay to stock to. Oh my god! Yeah, you have reserve to keep the encore the stock to keep encore on it. No way. Yeah. I don't want to play the standby deck. Yeah, yeah, this. I I think there is a red two two. I hope it's better. Me too. Anything Again, to this the... one in flavoring? Uh, just a, yeah, it's just a standard thing. It's event in memory. Yeah, um, giving, You can only do that so many times. You only get to yeah, do okay. that one so many times. <laughs> okay, no, I'm just gonna be fair. Like sure. since we gave plus two cards yeah. for that, that's fine. I'm just gonna give it everywhere. The points don't matter. You know, yeah, yeah. At this point, it's really just whatever we feel like it's, at this point. Because yeah, the, because just... the gimmick is so out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, is this your game me? selector? Okay. The second. Yeah, this is the second game selector. Whose was this? I yeah, okay, oh, this I think is me. this is yours actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you have one or more events in memory, this card cannot be played from hand. So it is a one-one yellow event. On play, do one of the following things. Search your deck for an event with play a game in your deck and put it into your memory, or choose an event with play a game in waiting room and put it into your memory. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, so you get to play any any of them, any of the events you want for one less stock, basically. Yeah. So this was a target for the um for the Riki, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's it. You can. It's this, and the other one is the trial deck one that you can choose from the top four. 
so you can potentially play them for free in that case. And that one is also like a regular camera. Yeah. In worst case scenario. So I think that one's definitely better. Yeah, I think the other one's just better because it also grabs your character. Um, yeah. Sometimes you're going to use this to like get an event and the event's not even going to work. Yeah, that's probably. Or, your event, or, the, it's, or you're paying a stock to put an event in your memory that gives your opponent free cards. At least you didn't play two, you only played one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, and also. I mean, I guess balance, I don't know, events don't make sense. I guess when I say it's correct. Strength. It's probably uh, fine. Yeah, just gonna give it a C because it depends on what eh, completely on what it targets. I would never so, play this over the the green one. I have seen the targets. yeah. No, it's it's C based on the fact that it in theory this could have good stuff that it sure. goes into. So it gets the it completely rel relies on what the targets do. So this is a funny card in standard to too. I mean, yeah, you could definitely play some random. I think the uh, most of the play a game stuff just does the play a game. I think. Oh, on it's, play, not on yeah. Way, on memory. I mean, okay, there are some. I think the no game no life one does it well in memory. The uh, uh the big stupid one, the the, the name one. Chain. Yeah, I, why am the I having where you, trouble figuring out what you're talking the about? The one where you declare a level and you nuke that level. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't remember what the name of the game is called. But you're right. I think it's... I think that it's one not, activates twice. Uh, that word saying something, something word saying. So. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, and flavor, I'm actually going to give this the minus compared to the... Really? Oh, only, compared, only compared to the TD one, because the fact that the TD one is top four is actually more flavor. Oh, yeah. It should be than, random than, in some than way. Than selecting which one you get, because... The button makes you spin a wheel to get the game. Okay. It's not bad flavor that you get to choose your game, but it's just bad flavor compared to the to the trial deck one. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's move on. So yeah, I, also just to yeah. just to have a minus in flavor, just to spice things up. Sure. Okay, blank cards. Here we go. Another. Uh, this is our second actual game. If you have one more event this in your memory, this can be played from your hand. Put this in your memory. When this is put in your memory, you may play the game. Uh, both players choose a card in their hand and reveal it. The player that reveals the higher level card returns up to two characters from their waiting room to their hand, then puts one card from the hand into the waiting room. Okay, and the beginning of the understand put this kind of from the memory into your Okay. Wait a second. My my question is what happens if both players reveal the same level? Yeah, there's no There isn't yeah, it doesn't cover every potential situation. Yeah, it should say what happens if both players hit the same level. Also, in a vacuum, this is a pay two salvage two ditch one that might benefit your opponent. Yeah. I feel like I almost feel like this should be like a two zero event. Well, this year, usually you don't. I guess no. This is restricted to one memory, so it doesn't mess with memory math. Uh, okay. Yeah, probably. Like, actually, I think two one. I think there is like a two one. Add to this one or something. I mean, there are there are uh, two one salvage two ditch ones. Um, yeah. The modern game also has two one salvage two don't ditch one. And this like could is that this is a two or something? Yeah, they usually have a condition on them. Yeah. It's usually not yeah, and difficult. It's like a two two. This is a two two that doesn't plus that might plus your opponent. Yeah. That's well it probably needs some sort of extra. It gets a plus because you can use it yeah. at level one. You can like, Yeah, that's uh, the thing that's the thing about yeah. So you can actually all of these cards help you play the events earlier than what you that you would do normally. Which is, I only realized it now. Mm -hmm. So that's actually pretty cool, depending on what, how you use them. Yeah, I guess it's like not. I guess you can give it the minus. Just for, it's like an interesting mechanic. Right. It just doesn't like really work. It's cool. Yeah, it doesn't cover all the bases. Yeah, 
I need to know, like, if you if you reveal the same level, do you both get to return? Does no one get to return? I don't know. Yeah. That's the thing. To be fair, we ha we saw the decking earlier that had to resonate with a level 3, so in theory, if you're you should be holding around, the 3. Yeah, if you're building around that, you should have a level 3, so that in theory means you have the, the better odds of hitting this. Okay, hear me out. If your opponent knows you're playing this card, they're just going to also hold a level 3. I mean, yeah, they probably will. I mean, and a lot of decks these days start sculpting for level 3 early on. But it's, yeah, I don't know. It's just, we don't know what happens if they both reveal level 3. That's the, I guess, the deciding factor. If it just doesn't do anything, that's really bad. If it, if both of you do it, I guess maybe it's At least it's it does bad. something. It's, it's still bad, but at least you get stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the flavor's good. I think they played... Yeah, it was... I think it's over-costed. Weird... Yeah, I mean, yeah, if there is the two one, as you see, that the song would still play, this is definitely over-costed. Cool. That was it for yellow and the trial deck. We still haven't gotten to anything super great, but I'm hoping that we're going to see something cool within the next few colors. Uh, thank you yeah, for watching. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Anime, but yeah. We'll see you guys in the next ones.